Welcome back to the Seychelles. Time for a walk round town. We thought it would be best to start at the top. So once again, up those damn stairs. Stick a fork in me. Thing is, all this jungle, all this fruit, and there's no monkeys. I guess they never made it here. Probably can't swim that far. Too hot to get up and bark. <laughs> Tell me, how do you like spiders? Oh, where is it? Oh, I can see oh, it. Oh God, we walked right under it. Oh, these ones, oh, look at them. Oh, oh. Up in the back, away from the hubbub of the city centre, the locals keep their gardens beautifully. That's what happens when you're fruit picking while chatting on the phone. <laughs> bit like a grapefruit, but it's an orange. Full of vitamin C, we headed into town. The focal point of the city centre is this downsized replica of the clock tower on London's Vauxhall Bridge, who'd have thought? Brought to Victoria in 1903 when the Seychelles became a crown colony. Like fancy that. After 12 months in Southeast Asia, one thing we really notice is the complete absence of scooters and motorcycles. There's actually two things. Compared to Langkawi, there is almost no street food. This is one of the few and it is by far the best. Although it's three or four times the price of Langkawi, but you can't have it all. The Seychelles Islands have only been occupied for about 250 years and fought over for most of these between the British and the Portuguese and the French. Uh, but there's a dearth of old buildings. This is one of the best. The temple and this is the Marie Antoinette restaurant, one of the original houses and uh, served a nice lunch. Dr Livingston, I presume. Well, actually, no, this is Stanley, who found a Dr. Livingston, who had been unheard of for over six years, wandering around Africa. Stanley stayed at what's now the Marie Antoinette restaurant, no doubt enjoying the food as we did. It doesn't take us long to search out these places. And tortoise pie is a speciality. This is the old guy. He's about 60 years old. Looks about as wrinkled as me. I think the only other place you can see these giant tortoises is in the Galapagos. And you nearly didn't see these guys either. That retaining wall at the back fell in a landslide and it landed on a few of them, hence their crushed and broken shells. But they dug them out and they are all prospering. Ow. After lunch we headed back down into the town to the main market to 
to see what they had on offer. Seychelles was really only inhabited about 250 years ago so there's not much in the way of old or interesting buildings. This is about as good as it gets and this is the admin department for the hospital. And we're here because my wife just cannot get enough needles stuck in her arm. She's decided we need a tetanus booster because we're going to Africa. Oh dear. Victoria is a fishing town. So there's lots of fishing activity, mostly tuna, and the Spanish, having emptied their waters, are now over here trying to empty the Indian Ocean. This ship, the Alberton Doss, was unloading into these chill containers as we passed at 10 o'clock and when we passed four hours later he was still unloading. The big ship sails around in a big circle dropping the net and then the little boat is used to close the net and then they haul their catch on board. Frighteningly efficient. This is the cafe outside the city museum and inside we found Carl. See all the industrial agricultural industry that before tourism that we used to have in Seychelles. Right. We have cotton which we used to export it to the United States. Okay. Then we have coconut also. Right. Okay. And then we have the guano. Guano is the, it's the bird drop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, have, you haven't seen guano. We had a lot of that on the boat in Chagos. Yeah. <laughs> then we have vanilla. Yeah. Then we have the also cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Then we have rubber also, which was introduced here from Malaysia. As as you can know that we have the Sultan of Perak who was exiled here. Oh, okay. So when he came here, he, he brought, brought rubber. With he him. brought rubber. He started planting it. Right. And all these industries, your government is trying to bring back. Yeah. Now, to... now we are trying, trying to bring bring it back because. Yeah. We cannot depend on, on tourism. Like yeah. We need another source of foreign currency. Early. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they are going back to all these industry now. Great. And that's Carl. Yes. Thank you very much, Carl. You're most welcome. And so that's a quick look at Victoria, the capital of the Seychelles, on the eastern side of Mahi. Next up, we'll have a look at the west side and perhaps some of the islands if we're allowed to go. Thanks for watching.